I heard a fly buzz when I died by Emily Dickinson. I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room was like the stillness in the air. Between the heaves of the storm, the eyes around had hung them dry and breasts were gathering firm. For that last onset when the king be witnessed us in the room, I willed my keepsakes signed away. Portion of me be assignable. And then it was there interposed a fly. A blue, uncertain, stumbling buzz between the light and me. And when the windows failed, and then I could not see to see. Emily Dickinson was born in 1830 in Amherst, Massachusetts. As a child, she was brought up in a very strict and Lady, very young lady-like way. However, Dickinson never accepted the traditional Calvinist teachings of the New England states. As Dickinson grew older, she gradually pulled away from the public view and was only seen by close family members. In the fall of 1861, she started writing her poetry. Most of Dickinson's poetry was inspired by the writings of Emerson. Her poetry express, expresses her self-reliance and unconventional life. Later, she asked for the in for input on her poetry from Thomas Wentworth Higginson. After her death, Higginson changed much of the rhyme and meter in Dickinson's poetry. So a lot of what we read today is not only Dickinson's work, but Higginson's as well. Dickins Dickinson died in 1886 after a very isolated life. However, her poetry is considered by many critics as the start of modern 20th century poetry. Personal reaction. We found Dickens' poem to be very interesting and were appalled to see how she used them in the poem. We also like to see how she explained her death as if she had a heightened sense of awareness about everything around her as she died.